Hi folks, it's Neil and Wendy again from ECS Coffee, and this is the third video in our series of espresso machines to buy top five over $2,000. Now, keep in mind a couple of things when watching this. These are machines that we carry. There are many, many varieties in the market. We are in Canada. The pricing we're talking about is going to be rough because some things go on sale. So please don't compare prices if you live in another country. But this is Canada, this is what we like. And these videos are designed for people that don't really know uh, what they want. And they want sort of a general overview of what you can get in this price range. Kind of like that person, like myself, who has no idea what's under the hood of his car, just knows that it goes fast and it's nice. So um, we're gonna touch base. Let's say you bought a really, really nice kitchen and you want a real, really nice espresso machine because you're tired of going to the local coffee shop. Um, these are sort of our picks for the over 2000 price point and uh, we love them. We're gonna kind of take you through these five very quickly to show you the differences between them. So let's start over here with my favorite brand, which is Jura or Yura, depending on where you are. And we have the N8. So let's talk about this, Wendy. Why do we love this machine? N8, uh, small uh, counter footprint. And what they've done with the water tank is, is tried to make it look like a crystal vase. Very nice. Um, and there's also two sizes of filters you can get for it, depending on um, how much usage. The screen um, basically lights up and there's touch buttons on the side here. Uh, it's, it's very straightforward. It gives you your drink, one off, everything is shrunk down inside 10 gram uh, throw for that machine. So you've got a small footprint. That's sort of the, the real great thing about this. Very right. small footprint, very nice machine, and it comes in uh, four colors. Mm -hmm. You can see we have accent red here. What The other colors are white, black, black and... And then massive aluminum. Ma I don't I call it massive aluminum? It's uh, made it's, of aluminum. It's because it's three millimeters it's not massive. thick of uh, aluminum all the way around. That makes it massive. It's a heavier machine okay, that that's makes pretty it good. massive. <laughs> um, and, and Jura, we really like the, the coffee you get out of this. This is sort of for the person that wants to press a button, uh, grind their coffee and uh, or espresso. Right. Um, it's made for them in the morning connects to the, the, the Joe app, app from, yes. from Jura, so you can actually do this from your phone. So mm. really cool tech in this unit. Um, and again, this is their newest entry, 2019 to the market. Um, and we, we really like the aesthetics of, of these machines. We'll go to uh, probably one of my favorites is the S8, and this came out last year. Uh, this is a beautiful machine by Jura as well, a little bit larger. Um, let's talk about the differences with this. So this one has a swipe screen, so it runs like an iPad, it's very intuitive. Okay. Uh, so you can have uh, two heads put on here. One is for exactly. your milk, one is for your different temperatures for uh, water uh, and tea. So if you wanted to make a true Americano, you just click on the separate head. This can also be plugged into a bunch of different containers that Jura supplies us with. So it's, it's basically your choice. But the type of foam that comes out, you're dictating it. More foam, less foam. It actually does a flat white. Fabulous. I mean, the first time I had a drink out of this, I was blown away by how good it tasted. Yeah, and this, and this machine is sort of a, a winner. Aesthetically, I, I really like it. You can customize the names on the front. Right. Um, you can lock selections out if you want to. We've got things like hot water for green tea as well. Um, mm -hmm. And also, if you're making an espresso or a coffee-based beverage, uh, you put your cup here. If you're making anything to do with milk, so lattes, right. la latte macchiatos, cappuccinos, your cup goes over here. So it redirects the espresso over here. Mm -hmm. Again, connects to the app with uh, the Joe app, which right. is great. Um, very very, very nice machine, small, uh, compact water tank comes out this way, nice and easy to use. And again, for the person that wants a very, you can actually see what I did there. I don't know right. if you can get the camera zoomed on that. I took the water tank out and it's telling us um, that we need to put the water tank back basically. So very intuitive, tells you everything you need to do. You can't really screw this machine up. Yes. So one of our favorites, the most popular machine I think we have right now in this price point, absolutely love it. So let's move over to Breville. Um, and this is sort of the top of the line Breville. Let's talk about the Oracle Touch. So the Oracle Touch just is, is elevate, elevating the Oracle that we've uh, had in store for years. You can save your programming um, of your drinks um, into here. You touch the screen, again, you're swiping. So you got a swipe screen and you can save and you can name your drinks as well, correct? Right, you can name your drinks, save them. So next time you walk up, you can hit it and it's going to do exactly um, what you want out of the port filter in terms of the amount of grinds, the volume of water, and then you can, 
be a barista at home if you choose to, and if not, you put it down, it's going to do the temperature and texture for you. So this is, and, and what I love about this machine, it's sort of that, it's beautiful for the countertop. Right. You are using a portafilter, which some people love to use the portafilters mm -hmm. for making espresso, but you can't really screw it up. It's not, when we get to the other ones, there's a little more art to, to making a beverage. Mm -hmm. This not only will grind the coffee for you, it will tamp the coffee. So literally, once you're done doing that, you just move it over here, right. um, and you brew your espresso or your beverage. Mm -hmm. And even with the milk, it's got sensors built in to turn it off when it's done. So you're doing all the barista stuff, um, but you really can't screw it up. But there is the ability to play with it a little bit for settings to, yes. to customize your yeah. beverage a little better. Absolutely. So uh, again, beautiful to look at, nice looking machine. We have these in, in uh, some other colors too, limited time colors uh, in the stores. That are, it's a truffle, truffle yeah. and, and hickory. And hickory, yeah. yeah. Um, always when you're looking at an espresso machine, folks, for the home, keep in mind your upper, upper cabinets. Uh, that is something you're gonna wanna measure. So before you go buy something, always look at that because you don't wanna have to pull it out. You wanna make sure it fits because some people have lower upper cabinets. So uh, really like the Breville and the last Last two, we're going to talk about get into sort of uh, art and coffee right. combined. Mm -hmm. I would say this is more for the real consumer geek coffee person that wants complete control. So this is the Laylet Bianca, right. um, wood accents, real wood accents, um, handmade in Italy, beautiful yes. machine. Uh, absolutely love this. Let's mm -hmm. talk quickly about that. So uh, the type of uh, espresso that they will come through, it's. You can bottomless. see exactly with the bottomless how your um, pour is going. So you're rating um, your coffee based on um, temperature and uh, texture. So when when you're watching coffee come out of here, it's beautiful. So especially with this, the the bottom of the uh, porta filter, it comes out nice and creamy, and you, and you just know by looking at it that it's going to be an, an amazing tasting espresso. But what they've done with the elevation, it kind of we've seen this uh, group head before. So if you leave your porta filter on, it's constantly circulating water through it, and it makes it very hot. And the science behind the heat com combined with the coffee um, just elevates the experience. And then what you can do here is actually turn the pressure down as you're if going. It's a if control, you flow control. Right. If yeah. you don't have something exactly right the first few times, you don't have to waste your coffee. You can just adjust the paddle here, which will increase and decrease the flow. Yeah. You can set, the, there's a quite a few things actually you can set here um, on the machine ahead of time. Um, and it's a digital, it's, it's basically a digital thermostat, they call it PID. Right. Um, it's basically a digital thermostat so you get much more consistency in the temperature um, on this machine. So kind of, it's for, for the professional wants to play around, you know, you're gonna have to get a good grinder with this, mm -hmm. with this unit. Um, and aesthetically on your counter, you, you'll have this thing forever. And this is a beautiful machine, it'll last 30, 40 years. It's kind of got the latest and greatest technology in it, but it's got that homemade in Italy, made in Italy uh, feeling. I should said homemade, not homemade. It's got that made in Italy. Who'd make these at home? Well, maybe originally the guy did. Maybe the it's, got that, <laughs> it's got that made in Italy, um, handcrafted um, look and feel to it. Uh, and you can actually, the water tank can mo be moved to the side, to, the side, to each yeah. side or to the back right now. And so, you can plumb it in. And you can plumb this unit in. Yes. So nice unit for the kitchen, aesthetically, uh, one of our favorites in that lineup. Uh, and lastly, we'll go to a machine that is very specific. Um, and this I like to call art on your counter because this machine will take you probably 20 minutes to make an espresso, really, once it's, once you get, you got it 20 minutes to get it warmed up and going. Um, and it's, it's pulling a shot and it's manual, so. With the, well, with the piston, at first I heard a lot, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so hard to learn. Yeah. You gotta be careful, you don't knock your teeth out. Well, you're not going to knock it no, to me. Well, no. you've heard, you've I guess if you were doing this, it. right? Um, so if you're trying to when, eat the when thing. When you do pump it down and then release it and watch the pour, you almost want to, I got to do that again because the, being that hands-on is a ton of fun and it, it did make an amazing espresso. Yeah, I, again, handmade copper and brass. Uh, your, your water tank is actually inside here. You've, this is how you fill up the water, which is which is mm -hmm. fun. You gotta unscrew the whole every every time you wanna refill it. So there's um, also a minimum and yeah. a maximum in the... So very, very um, neat, no plastic in this machine at all. In fact, the only plastic in this machine would be this guy right here, it's a little knob, right. and it's just a knob, that's all it is. Some people mm -hmm. replace that actually. Uh, but this is something that will be on your counter. It actually comes in chrome as well um, and comes we have a semi-automatic version as well, so you're not actually pulling the, the piston down. But if you have someone in your household that wants to spend some time really learning the art of espresso, the way it was originally done um, when we, we came up with the portafilter, the, this is the, the machine for you guys. Mm -hmm. So again, we're going from very artistic to very hands-on, a lot of functionality with this guy here right. in the in the Laylet. This is called the Electra, by the way. Um, a lot of functionality in the Laylet to a little more digital. 
Um, <laughs> Port of Philadelphia, a little more digital. Yeah. And then we're going to, obviously, the, the Pushing Floyd. Pushing a button, and yeah. out comes your which, beverage. Yes. Which are great. So um, overall, guys, there are some videos we've done on these, on these um, which we'll put links up to on our YouTube page. One of the things I do want to mention to everybody is that you're obviously watching these videos on YouTube because you want to get information on buying an espresso machine. And as retailers of espresso machines, one of the frustrations we have is people that buy online because they watched a few videos. They buy a machine, they take it home, they realize they have no idea what they're doing, and then they spend all this time either trying to return a used machine um, or, or trying to figure it out, and we end up walking them through it. So my recommendation, this goes to anybody in any country, is um, yeah, do your research online, look at the videos, but go to a local store and support them. Not only are you supporting a smaller business, but you're gonna get the information you need before you invest $3,000 or more or even less on an espresso machine. Uh, you wouldn't typically go buy a car without at least going to see it. Don't do it with this either. There's a lot of moving parts Parts, a lot of things that you may or may not think are real with espresso machines that you will find out from an experienced person in a store. Mm -hmm. Most independent stores will have machines set up as we do. We're in Burlington, Ontario, Canada, just outside of Toronto. We have a location in Ancaster. Please visit your local store before you make these purchases and support them. And uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe below and uh, we will see you next time. Take care.